Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Anthony and this is my channel, The Tech Cafe. And today I'm going to be doing a video on the best beginner budget coffee setup. So now, this video is mostly for anybody thinking of getting into making coffee or somebody who just wants to try something new. So to make coffee, you pretty much need five things. Some sort of coffee maker. So what I recommend is the Hario V60. This is a ceramic version. You could get a plastic one for anywhere from $10 to $15. I think they are mostly closer to $10. You're going to need a scale. So this is a Hario scale. This is on a little bit of the higher end of a budget, but you can get something at a home store or Walmart or anything like that for anywhere from $10 to $20. You're going to need a grinder. So now this is a Porlex grinder. Something like this costs in the range of $90. You can get a knockoff of this on Amazon for anywhere from between $10 to $20. I think more on the $20 side of things. And then you're going to need coffee and you're going to need a kettle. So those are pretty much the five main things you need. And these are the things that I recommend. So you beginning into coffee or even trying things, you may not like this setup. You might find something different that you like. But the thing about coffee is, is it's fairly universal. So now if you start off with the plastic Hario and you want to move on to, let's say, a Chemex, well, Regardless of which one you use, you're still going to need a scale, you're still going to need the grinder, you're still going to need a kettle. So now, the kettle is the only thing here that I think kind of stops from making this coffee setup a very good one, because a gooseneck kettle is a much better option for when doing pour over. So now, if you were to switch out, let's say, the Hario V60 for a cheap French press, which could be very inexpensive as well, you're still going to want to have a scale to... to measure your coffee and you're still going to want to have a grinder to grind your coffee and you can choose you know how coarse or how fine you want it and the coffee that you buy depending if you want to buy it at a local roastery or if you buy something from you know the store if you buy it in bean form and you grind it yourself it's going to last longer it's going to stay fresher and it's going to taste better because you're grinding it as you use it now if you can't do that and you don't want to spend the money on a grinder by all means go to the store and just buy pre-ground coffee but you're not going to have the same consistency in what you need. So if you're going to use something like the Hario and you need a more fine grind, you might have to tweak that grind a little bit more to get it where you want it. Or if you're using a French press, maybe the grind is a little too coarse or a little too fine for what they provide you. And you have that ability with your own grinder and your own scale to tweak things the way you want. So now, this is just a beginner setup. This is what I recommend. And I think you can buy something like this for under $50. So. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video does help you and hopefully it helps you make a decision on what you want. Personally for me, even right now, I find the Hario, this, this item right here at $20 to be my favorite thing to make coffee out of. I find it better than the Chemex, better than an AeroPress. It's just something that I prefer. It's one of the first things I started using and it's the same thing that I use today. I do use the other ones, but I just find this has the best taste and quality for the price. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like and subscribe and, uh, you know, watch more of my videos in the future. Thanks.